Hello again, everyone. This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm back with another Scribble Knots Unlimited Object Editor Commentary episode. And this is where we're going to be creating your favorite characters, of course, in the Scribble Knots Unlimited Object Editor, which you can find on the Wii U and PC versions of this game. And so we're starting off with Nathan Hernandez as the source object, and that's going to be for creating Naruto. And the basis of uh, using Nathan Hernandez actually as the source object, because as you can see, he looks sort of like this stormtrooper kind of outfit or whatever, but uh, not really having any of the physical look of Naruto, it's mainly about the run. And so I actually did this exact same thing for when I created Sonic, the remake, and uh, go figure, this is also a remake, because I have created Naruto back in an old episode, which was number 47, and so we just put down Victor Chavez, that was actually for the torso, because again, our Nathan Hernandez didn't really look like Naruto, and so uh, to get that, it's a little bit better with Victor right there, one of the fifth cell members, and a supermodel, the male supermodel supermodel we can use for one of the arms of course that was the front arm and then now I'm going to take its back arm and we can use that as well for now the back arm of Naruto of course paint the sleeve of the clothing black and uh, we can leave the hands all skin colored there for Naruto's skin color at least and uh, then I'm going to type in leg again I've been saying this a lot lately but it's just because we've actually used some stamps that are kind of the obvious stamp for what I'm actually placing it down as i.e. using a leg for leg I almost never do this it's just kind of something that has has happened lately, I think, but uh, to just sort of reiterate what I usually say about it is oftentimes you don't do that, you know, in Scribble Knots Unlimited, if you kind of create how I do with thinking outside of the box and just trying to think creatively, like using a croissant for teeth or something like that, or for instance, what we did here on Naruto, the uh, toes there kind of sticking out of that combat boot, which were the boots down there, the toes were actually a worm, the back piece of a worm, and cesium, it is kind of spelled like casium, but cesium is actually what we used up there for the turtleneck part of basically where Naruto's neck is, and the letter I for the black stripe on the top of the uh, clothing for his torso, and then the glow stick painted all the way black is down kind of towards his uh, waist. But yeah, just to kind of reiterate the point I was talking about is just that uh, you don't have to use like a leg for a leg or a mouth for a mouth or a nose for a nose. It's just kind of sometimes I've been doing it lately, I think. But uh, most of the time in my series, it'll be something kind of outside of the box and wild like all the other stamps that I just mentioned. Uh, for example, a tube is what we used actually for the holster right there for Naruto's kunai on his leg. Uh, that would be his right leg. It's to our left side, of course. Letter I for the strap. Tenth page arm from the 29 page library is the bandages on the leg underneath that. And so uh, this is the properties editor. It's where you can edit health and the audio of your character. Lots of different things, how fast they run. Just a lot of kind of background things about the character. And so this is where I like to read background information and fun facts about whatever we're creating. Of course, I did just want to say before that starts, I always create whatever is most popular and most requested in my series, so you guys just leave comments down below and you ask for things and just whatever gets the most votes by the most amount of different people is what will get created. Next Sunday, I upload every Sunday. So let's go ahead and read about Naruto, who of course is the protagonist of, you guessed it, Naruto, and uh, way back when, on December 8th of 2013, I created the original younger Naruto in episode 47 of this series. I usually can pinpoint the exact number of the exact episode based on what the creation is and just sort of know it by heart. But that was actually one that I didn't really quite pull so easily from memory and so I did have to look that up. But anyway, we're seeing a resurgence in Naruto as a franchise, of course with Shippuden, but also with Bandai Namco's expansion to the Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 game. But as a franchise overall, Naruto's obviously been around for a long time. We did create him, of course, as I mentioned back in episode 47, and if you look at this being episode 209, and that's just out of numbered episodes. That old design, though, was kind of based on the earlier part one design, I would say, you know, with the blue and overall younger look. So this episode focuses more on the Shippuden or part two look with the black. And I hope that you can see here now we've actually got his hair just isolated all by itself, because in Scribble Knots Unlimited, although it is called Unlimited, you do have a limited amount of stamp space, so you do have a limit to what you can do. So I like to then make the head separately from the body if I'm trying to fit all of these details in and on Naruto definitely I am but this one's actually going to require three parts so the hair actually has to be entirely separate from the head and from the body so I used a silver sword for the top kind of main part of the hair and we actually started off with the hat as the source object it's not super important what you start off with but I think the hat is good it's small enough and wide enough we can just sort of block it with the silver sword right here as you can see I'm moving it aside and uh, you can 
see what lies underneath, and a hair is actually down below the silver sword and behind it, actually, for Naruto's kind of hair coming down behind his ear, really. And so you just want this to be scripted under the equipment tab, basically, here in the properties editor. Uh, see that second circle down that says, can be worn on the head like a hat. And by second circle down, I mean from the bottom half of the screen. And so we'll start off with the head as the source object, though, to be the actual head of Naruto. So we, again, are going to be creating this in three parts. And uh, that's not always something I do, but it has been done before in this series. And we're going to go with a dramatic chipmunk. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. which is almost becoming a meme around here on my series because we used it once recently, but before that we had used it about a year before that and there was kind of just a funny moment on the channel and so now we've got this whole meme entrance of a uh, dramatic chipmunk body. But here we go with a wake skate, you know, like wakeboarding and stuff. So the wake skate is actually going to be for the mouth of our Naruto character. It's actually, again, one of those things like most parts of Scribble Knots Unlimited characters, you can choose between so many different stamps. I mean, you could even use just like a squid upper tentacle line piece, you know, or jellyfish and just kind of get the mouth to be like a straight line more so or bend it a little bit. And uh, you could use 29 page library arm shapes. You could use a cat tail or rat tail. So many different things for the arm. And so I am going to take that silver sword that we used for the hair, and this is more just going to be a placeholder so I can see kind of where the hair is going to look like it's going to go mostly uh, on the head, and then we're going to have to take it away again to save some stamp space here and utilize it to the fullest on the head object. So uh, tube top is what I've typed in next, and that's going to be used for the headband, of course, across his forehead, and that's the main kind of bulky part of the headband in front, and then sort of for some strap look kind of going around his head, we'll use this shape from the geometry library and Scribble Knots Unlimited, but if you're in Scribble Knots Unmasked, you're just going to need to type in trapezium to get that same shape. And so then we'll go on now with a phoenix, grabbing that back tail piece that'll be used as some hair right here that is coming, you can see his hair sort of peeking out, you know, with his headband right there. There's some hair that kind of goes down over his forehead a little bit, and that's what the phoenix is on both sides, of course, phoenix tail. And so we're going to go with the chicken nugget now, and the chicken nugget will act as an ear right here, and again, that's that's another stamp you could use so many different things for. I mean, all of these really, but uh, we're gonna type in jellyfish next. I'll grab that upper tentacle piece like I was talking about a little bit before, but we're gonna copy this a lot of times because this is actually gonna be those whisker looking, you know, stripes on uh, Naruto's face right here. So that's looking good for this first side. We may need to adjust it though after we've kind of placed some other things. And so I'm gonna type in a nose. And so this time, again, it's rare, but going with the obvious thing for the actual part that it is representing. So a nose for the nose nose this time. Uh, then we can put down the rest of those jellyfish stripe tentacle pieces. And then we're going to take the dramatic chipmunk body once again. <laughs> twice actually and the dramatic chipmunk will be for the main part of his eyes so right here paint it white of course all the way white and it's uh, coming together slowly but surely of course we're gonna need to adjust things as they come uh, I'm gonna type in PEA for the P right here and we'll color that let's get his eye color here so then just moving that sort of in the center of these dramatic chipmunk bodies somewhat but looking a little bit to our right and I'm gonna type in a pimple that's gonna be for the pupil of the eye here so paint it all the way black and the P actually has a little sort of shiny dot in it I guess you know a little glisten uh, so the P kind of comes with its own glimmer which is good in this game occasionally I'll add my own if I have enough stamp space but I'm not going to this time I don't think so a spider fish we can use that bottom fin of the spider fish to be some eyebrows here peeking out below that headband and uh, just above his eyes of course and so then uh, the kangaroo is what we're gonna type in for the arm of the kangaroo to use that as a headband strap kind of in the back there and then we'll copy that tube top piece that's in the front of the headband and stuff we'll copy that to actually be for this plating right here that has a symbol in it the symbol actually we're going to use a snail and uh, grab its shell and that's actually going to be the end of the stamps that we can use so we have hit the stamp limit as I mentioned again this game doesn't have unlimited stamp space you would think it does with the name unlimited but again for the head this time just similar to the hat uh, this time we're going to script it to be can be worn on the face like glasses 
this. So it will actually be positioned below the hat. You know, obviously you want his hair to go above the head. You know, it's like his hair doesn't go on first or whatever. It's uh, the head goes on first. So here we can put down the head onto our body object. Looking good so far. So let's then give it the hat hair. And that's looking really like where it should go, actually. If you ever find that you place those down and it looks like maybe the head is on too low or too high or something like that, you can always go and edit the torso or the body object and move the head grid where you need to move it left, right, up, or down. And so I'm actually going to test out his run right here. So I'll attack him with a knife and then run away from him. So here you guys can see Naruto's run. And uh, actually we do have in our scripting, of course, if you were paying attention there, when you attack Naruto, of course he becomes brave when he loses or gains health, but he's also going to throw out this kind of big white shiny shuriken. And uh, that's for, I guess, like the Rasengan shuriken. But yes, I think we've had enough fun. Uh, we've <laughs> kind of tormented our Naruto here. So I'm going to stop with that knife. But you guys have seen the run. You can now run like Naruto in this game. So, epic. Huh? Let's have him fight something else. We'll just, uh, for the sake of it, we'll type in a hostile ninja, and I think he's gonna whoop it up because I'm pretty now familiar, I guess, with this, uh, we, since we started off with Nathan Hernandez as the source, it actually makes a very powerful character. So, like, for instance, when I used it as my Sonic source object, Sonic became, like, ultra powerful, and so the Nathan Hernandez character does make whatever object you use as its source very powerful, very strong, hard to kill, and so actually we're now making an epic showdown with Goku which was our last creation and that was another remake but you can see him on screen fighting our Naruto right here this is crazy and so Goku I would think normally Goku would probably win this fight it's uh, tough to tell because I'm not as familiar with Naruto at all compared to my knowledge of DBZ and mostly the Dragon Ball universe so that fight would actually last forever or probably in scribble knots right now show Goku losing because we don't have the scripting accordingly you know we made these episodes separately so <laughs> maybe if you wanted it a little bit more realistic in that fashion. You guys should tell me what kind of format you would want to see in a battle series. I know I heard from a few of you, but I was asking you guys last time, if I did like a pitting my creations against each other in a battle series, would you guys want to see it with commentary or with like background music, both, and just kind of how would you want to see it be done? But maybe I'll experiment and just do an episode of my own, but Goku and Naruto just battled it out here. And eh, let me know who you think would win in the comments, actually. But I appreciate everybody's support. Remember to come back every Sunday for a new episode. Sometimes there's also episodes throughout the week for a little extra. So I will catch you on the next vid and thanks for viewing. Hello again everyone. If you like this video, you should check out the one that's over there. Yeah, it's a good one. I've seen it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. I've been down the road of twists and turns Always anxious to see what's within We can look ahead to the point of no return To the rest of our lives at the